the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 224, 1 Chronicles 4-5, Lecture 2 in Chronicles Fulfillment. Through the genealogy, we witness that God's promise given to Abraham was established with Jacob's will and unfolded through the descendants of Judah. First point, Jacob's prophecy about the tribe of Judah came true. Chronicles chapters 4 to 8 records the genealogy of the 12 tribes of Israel from Jacob's 12 sons to the people of South Judah who were taken as captives to Babylon. What stands out is the importance of the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin. Chronicles chapter 4 does not record the tribe of Zebulon or Dan. This was due to their idol worship. Chronicles focuses on the genealogy of Judah, and this has its roots in Genesis and Jacob's blessing to Judah. According to this blessing, Judah's descendants expanded from Caleb to David to Jesus Christ. Second point, Jacob's prophecy about the tribe of Simeon came true. The tribe of Simeon was not given any land in Canaan. They were to live among the tribe of Judah. And this had its background in the instant of Dinah. When Simeon and Levi went to kill the people of Shechem and was cursed by Jacob. Also, according to Jacob's will, the tribe of Simeon was few in number and did not expand extensively. During the census taken in Numbers, the tribe of Judah added up to 76,500, whereas the tribe of Simeon added up to only 22,200. Thus, the tribe of Simeon had to live in the land given to the tribe of Judah. But later, in the records in Chronicles, we can see that the tribe of Simeon grew in numbers and also came to possess their own land. Another record regarding the tribe of Simeon was during the reign of Hezekiah, when they contributed to the battle against the Amalekites. Third point, the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, who cooperated from the early days, since gaining the land east to the Jordan, managed to succeed in battle. During the days of Moses, the first tribes to be given land were the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh east to the Jordan. They worked collaboratively to win many battles. They relied on God and witnessed the victory. They showed courage during the days of Moses and Joshua, especially during the battles in conquering Canaan. Then they answered Joshua, Whatever you have commanded us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we fully obeyed Moses, so we will obey you. Only may the Lord your God be with you, as he was with Moses. Whoever levels against your word and does not obey it, whatever you may command them will be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. Fourth point. The tribes of Reuben and Gad had a change in heart and started to worship idols and eventually became conquered by Assyria. In Chronicles chapter 5, we can see the genealogy of tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh. They spent five years in battle during the conquest of Canaan, and then they returned to the east of the Jordan and decided to teach their children about God. But unfortunately, as time went by, they started to forget about God and they served the idols of Canaan and then sowed their ends through the Assyrian Empire. Fifth point, 
the half tribe of Manasseh started to turn away from God and worship the idols and thus fell in the hands of Assyria. Manasseh was greatly blessed by Jacob, but his descendants ended up serving idols and falling in the hands of Assyria. The tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh had taken their place in the east of the Jordan. They had showed immense courage and determination during the early days, but their end was indeed most unfortunate. This Tongdok app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tongdog app.